Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Super League Raw News. It's Monday, the 15th of April, and the Challenge Cup quarterfinals are in the record books. Let's confirm the results. The Robins beating the Leopards in the rematch of last year's final, 26 points to 14. The Leopards had a really good goal, didn't they? But the Robins, well, quite simply, they were sensational in the second half. The Dragons, six. Huddersfield Giants, 34. Oh, yes. Huddersfield what a performance from you boys in that one. The Cowbell Army, outstanding. All 15 fans in the stadium will have had a holiday to remember. I'm only jesting you, Huddersfield Giants fans. I'm sure you're going to travel in numbers to the semi-final. But yeah, an incredible, incredible result this. They did it, of course, in Perpignan last year in the league. They've done it yet again. 34 points to six. Congratulations to Ian Watson and his men. The Tigers, six. The Wigan Warriors, six. The, the World Club champion showing no mercy at the jungle. Shocking display from the Castleford Tigers. Just two games away from Wembley. It has to be said, it was not good enough. And then, of course, a brilliant game at a totally wicked stadium. The Saints ain't the Warrington Wolves 31. A brilliant win this for Sam Burgess and his men. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. Let's start with that top game. Hull KR against the Lee Leopards. Let's get the fallout from it and relive some great moments from what was a brilliant game. Edges I've been to be honest. Um, it was it was a yeah it was a, it was a, it was a good tough game. Um, I thought I thought both teams went hard. Um, you know they're obviously league struggling a little bit in terms of um, some of their personnel, but they certainly turned up and we, we knew that they would. Uh, and our players we, we probably didn't find um, we weren't sticking sort of to the plan in that first period and purely was around our last plays and and some errors there. But after half time, once we found um, our groove again and. And stuck to you know a plan that we that we wanted to do. Um, I thought they executed extremely well. So you know I'm really really proud of the players. They had to dig deep for that one um, at half time with, with the wind going against us. Uh, it, it was it was going to be a tough tough ask you know, with with the quality that they've got in their halves. But I thought we we, we handled that extremely well. Keeping it moving to Minchella along the line finds Lewis. Oh, and a great through from Holkar, and they back it up. The try. Yeah, there's a group of men there that I care about. They care about each other. And I thought today and every other game of the season, you know, they've been close to, in parts, they've been really, really good. And then in other parts, they've been poor. So we've lacked some consistency, but that comes with changing players all the time and, and positions. And, and even Gaz O'Brien pulling out this week and, and Mulhern again, it's hard to, 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 to change the team every week. We haven't had the same team for one, for two games in a row this year. And, that time will come where we do. Deep inside their own half, and here's a break. Rovers are in the clear. There's no support going with it, but this is a fantastic run coming from Joe Burgess. And he's got to go all the way. I think I was still in my dad's sports when that happened, so um, I didn't quite see it live. But I've seen it many a times before. <laughs> they made it happy. <laughs> Oh, Joe Burgess, take a bow, sir. That was absolutely brilliant. Almost as good as his try. Uh, you know, what a brilliant, brilliant try that was from Joe Burgess. Matt Moylan quite simply looked like he was in slow motion, didn't he? A brilliant, brilliant try from Burgess. He took his second one well as well. Kalepi Tanginoa in brilliant, brilliant form as well for Hull KR. Can they get back to Wembley? Can they get it right in 2024 and lift? the Challenge Cup. You wouldn't bet against them, would you? A really solid performance. Uh, as for the Lee Leopards, you know, uh, what was good about that, with all of their missing players, you felt that they could go to KR and, and really, you know, not defend the trophy as well as perhaps they could have done with a full complement of players. That said, they really did come off that field for me with a lot of respect. I thought Tom Amone on his uh, return to Lee Leopards uh, was quite simply superb uh, for them this week. So, yeah, Lee, of course, they travel to Warrington uh, this week uh, with Tom Amone. Uh, and, of course, Brad Dwyer going back up against Warrington, having not played for him. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? But well done to all KR. They're through into the semi-finals. A massive win for them. Now, let's move across to Perpignan. That incredible result for the Huddersfield Giants. Let's get the fallout from that. And there's one thing for certain, Steve McNamara was not happy. Um, we've been slowly kind of building through the season and we were confident coming here. Um, we're always pretty confident. We, we like the weather. We, it suits the way we want to play. Um, and I thought the boys were outstanding to a real, real top team performance against a, a, a real tough team against Catalan. <laughs> Yeah, beating in every department tonight. Uh, very, very disappointing. We're 
you know, the others feel have come and done a really good job on us. Uh, I thought they, like I said, the beaters in every every department, physically, technically, tactically, they were out, they were smart than us uh, in every area. So it's a very very disappointing loss for us. Uh, we're a little bit embarrassed and clearly a little bit humiliated by it on our way all, home to ground and in the Challenge Cup and, and knowing what's at stake. Uh, but credit to the opposition for actually putting us in that position and doing what they did to us. So sometimes you be more on your own performance and we're clearly unhappy with our performance, clearly. But the opposition uh, put us there in that position today. Our preparation has been outstanding the last couple of weeks. I thought we were ready to play. We need to find some answers to why it never happened tonight because you know our standards dropped so, so far from where they have been uh, to that performance, which isn't right for, for our club. And that's all we spoke about at the start of the year, is about improving week on week. And I thought today was outstanding. We said we were ready for this today, um, ready for the challenge, what Catalan were going to throw at us and to see where we were. And I think that gave a good indication. But yeah, we do like the dry, um, the fast track. We, like, we feel like we've got speed out there and, and we're definitely pretty fit as a team as well. He's been pretty good, mate, this year. He's kind of he's not been getting the headlines this year, to be fair, but he's been pretty good. His kicking game's been phenomenal, kind of the way he's been managing it, and his little bits of skill. He's been playing at the right times. I think he's he's really bought into what we want him to do for the team more so than anything else, and that's probably the pleasing thing with Jake. Is it's about the team now. It's not just about let's get the ball to Jake and see if Jake can. Um, conjure something up, he's actually playing for the team and we're, we're using the team's strengths to be able to hopefully free him up as well. For, for me, you want it on TV. It's like you say, it's a prestigious trophy. It's one that's steeped in history. Um, the Challenge Cup's massive. If you look back and you talk about what people remember. People remember Henderson Gill scoring in the um, Wembley tries, uh, Martin Afire scoring at Wembley, Ellie Ranley when he was playing for Leeds. You remember all these, the special occasions. So, yeah, ideally you want them on TV. Um, why it's not been, I, I don't know. Um, for me, it should be, but that's probably more for somebody way, way above me to, to be answering them questions, to be fair, of why it's not. Quite simply, Mr Watson, it's a disgrace, that's what it is. Challenge Cup Rugby League should have been on the TV. All four games should have been on the TV. We've got to keep the magic of the Challenge Cup alive and the only way we can do that is by getting it on the TV. Look what's happening in Super League this year. Everybody said if every game was shown live, people would not go through the turnstile. Fear of missing out, not at all. Every single game has been well supported this year. Attendances are on the rise. Challenge Cup, we desperately, desperately need it on the TV next season. I think the BBC have not really delivered thus far for me. I think Channel 4 did a far better job. I'm just saying it as it is. Uh, I think everything about it, the production, everything, it needs to be better. Rugby League's moved on. Sky's moved on. Sky doing a great job this year. Need to be better, the BBC. It was a shocking defensive display, this, from the Catalan Dragons. No wonder Steve McNamara is disappointing. You know, this is a team that has averaged 12 points against them this season in the first seven games. I mean, and when you think that's their average and it's been tripled in this game by Huddersfield Giants, a team that, you know, yes, they're sitting in the top six in Super League at this moment in time, but, you know, Catalan Dragons are finish, uh, currently sitting top. So what is going on there? I mean, Steve McNamara, like you said, lots of questions to be asked. Really leaky defence uh, on show for Catalan. Didn't show up, quite frankly. But that said, I want to be really, really kind here to our Cowbell Army supporters. They were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I mean, they got on the front foot from the, from the start of the game. Connor was superb. Great to see he said Ikehifo getting his try as well. I mean, the Gama just making it look simple, waltzing around the defence. It was some wonderful stuff from Huddersfield Giants and rightly they take their place in the semi final uh, in a few weeks time right where are you going to be tonight 7 30 p.m where are you going to be i'll tell you where you need to be you need to be a part of the super league raw quiz night that's right it's coming tonight free tickets in the comments of whatever you're watching this on whatever you're watching this on right now in the comment boxes will be how you can join us there are still tickets available there is a prize for the winner the Rugby League community are going to come together for a quiz night. Do you know your Rugby League? That is the big question. Here we go.
There you go. It's going to be happening. No other community online is doing this. This is why Super League Raw is the number one destination for online rugby league. We're bringing the community together tonight. Quiz night. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Make sure you're with us. Get your tickets now. Only a few, rem well, say a few remaining, limited tickets uh, available for this one. Go into the chat after the news update. Click on the link. Go and get your free ticket. Join us at 7.30 p.m. tonight. You need to have two devices, one to watch the quiz on, the other to play the quiz on. You're going to be playing this on your phone. Multiple choice questions. You've got a chance of getting a fluky one right. Don't worry about that. Come and join us. This is what's making Super League Raw so fantastic this season. The interaction with fans. We're building a community. Be a part of it. Right now, back to the Challenge Cup. Now, it's fair to say that Wigan really did have to put a shift in. They actually got a sweat on. Let's uh, take a look at that. <laughs> That's about as hard as they had to work to get into the semi-final of the Challenge Cup. And that's all I'm going to say. Go and watch the highlights. Absolutely disgraceful performance from the Casper Tigers. It really, really was. Talk about leaky defence. Steve McNamara, you think you've got problems? Oh, you want to be Craig Lingard? Dearie, dearie me. Go and take a look at the highlights. You can go and find them on YouTube under the Rugby Football League. It's absolutely depressing. And like I say, that's how I had to, had to play all that. But he played the drum well, didn't he? You've got to give him his due. But that was a poor performance. And, you know, the least said about it, the better. Congratulations to again. In to the semi-finals really without a sweat and uh, as for the Casper Tigers well you've got Wigan this week hey it comes in twos anyway now let's go to the Totally Wiki Stadium what a game this one was between St. Helens and the Warrington Wolves Powell Hayes onto Williams got him, got him. King moving to isolate Ashton Whoa. that's Did an amazing finish if he's got that going that's a great finish that shows how quick Ashton is but the finish itself, he, t he knew exactly what he was doing. Took off, got that down with Amazing. a millimetre to spare. Brilliant, super, I don't know what, I, just great words fail me on it. Unbelievable. Very disappointing. Uh, Challenge Cup quarter-final. And, you know, for a team that usually rises to the challenge in big games, uh, you know, I think we got you know, the opposite of that today. Uh, Watching the game, sometimes I mean, some of the things I'm seeing is quite the opposite of what we practiced in the week. So we, you know, we need to be smarter in the way we, we handle certain situations. But I thought we got out, out infused by our opposition today, you know, out, out infused at home in a Challenge Cup quarter final. You know, that doesn't sit well. Sit well there. But it was concerning today because you know, we started to do things that you know, go out of. And what we would normally do on the on the training field, uh, and you know, we're only going back a few weeks. People were talking about how impressive St. Helens are defensively and how hard they are to break down. So that team is very much still there, but we've got to we've got to get back out, practice harder, work harder, sacrifice more, uh, because things don't just happen for you. You've got to make them happen. The players who are not quite doing it have to understand that you know, being at this club. There's a standard that you need to have when you when you pull on this, this jersey, and uh, I suppose obviously emotions are kind of riding high in the club at the moment. So I don't want to sit here and say I'm going to be dropping four, five, six players. You know, what I what I have got to do is think about the team next week and what's best. There's also you know a school of thought that you know the guys that are disappointed go out and make amends. But well, I thought that was the case this week. So a lot of thinking for me to do over the next few days. Say so I won't make make decisions based on emotion. What, what, I, what, I, what I do have to say is there's, there's still a group of players in there who I care about, there's a group of players in there who, who I believe in. You know, I, I want the players to, I want them to sting. I, I, want, them, I want them for the next couple of days to, to be hurt by it. If you're not hurt, you know, you're, you're at the wrong club. If you're not hurt, you're sat in the wrong seat. Uh, so I want that from the, from the playing group. But then, you know, as you quite rightly say, there's, there's a response. You know, there's Super League, there's a competition that you know, we're desperate to be successful in, and we've got to turn our attentions. That there's no point dwelling on things for too long. We have to respond positively, and that's the challenge for us again next week. I just think it shows 
you know, there's there's going to be real competition in Super League this year. That's all. That's what I feel. He's in again. Oh, oh here is Dufty. Dufty rounds the fullback. He's got support for Williams. They are off to the semis. No question. An outstanding win from the Warrington Wolves. They got right in the faces of the Saints, didn't they? We talked about Steve McNamara and the Dragons' defence this season. The Saints have conceded on average eight points a game in the first seven rounds of Super League. And Warrington put 31 on them in the Challenge Cup. Wow, that's got a sting. The Matty Ashton try was a thing of beauty. Any supporter of Rugby League would have loved that one. What a sensational, sensational dive from Matty Ashton. We spoke in the final whistle podcast. Is he the best of that art currently in Super League? Go and listen to it. The final whistle podcast available now on Apple, Amazon and Spotify. Go and listen to what we are had to say as a Super League Royal community in terms of those quarterfinals. And like we say, we did debate just how good that try was from Matty Ashton. And is he the best at that type of finish in Super League? Go and listen to it on the final whistle podcast. George Williams was quite simply unplayable. This is the George Williams of old. Warrington will be hoping that he can remain in this form. If he does, then Warrington have a chance. There's no doubt about that. Many people were writing Warrington off. They've won nothing yet. Absolutely, they've won nothing yet. They've beaten St. Helens in the quarterfinal. They now go up against Huddersfield Giants in the semi-final. But let me tell you now, if George Williams carries on playing like that with the supporting class, cast of Duffy who's playing really well out of backfield you know Ashton on the wing there's so many good things to see in that Warrington team especially the the spirit of the team the togetherness of the team they seem to be doing really well Sam Burgess will be absolutely delighted with that win Warrington go through Saints can have no complaints they were well and truly beaten on the day right this is the semi-final draw the Robins go up against the Warriors the repeat of last year's semi-final who can forget that Brad Schneider drop goal that drop win in out of the Challenge Cup. Oh, yes, indeed. They will want revenge for that. But as for the Robins, you know, that muscle memory, they know they can do it against the Warriors. Can they do it for the second year in a row? That is going to be interesting. And then that game down there, the Giants against the Wolves. Remember that first game? That, well, the first Challenge Cup win under Tony Smith for the Warriors Wolves came against the Huddersfield Giants. There's a little bit of history here between these two sides in the Challenge Cup. The Giants will not be concerned. The way they played against the Catalan Dragons, they will fancy this against the wire. Don't worry about that. They'll be ready come that weekend in May. Oh, 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 two brilliant games to look forward to. And are you going to become a Super League Raw member? Oh, again, look in the comments on how you can become a Super League Raw member. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Two Challenge Cup tickets. That's right. Two Challenge Cup tickets will be won by Super League Raw members. The draw will be taking place the week before the semi-finals. Oh, yes. You could be going to Wembley, courtesy of Super League Raw. Go and take a look at the membership packages. Come and be a part of the Final Whistle podcast. Another great advantage of being a member here at Super League Raw. Right, the Challenge Cup has been well and truly put to bed. We hope you've enjoyed that little sneak around the grounds. But guess what? That's right, Super League is back this week. <laughs>
Yes, it's round the rate, a duel of fate. That could be what that top game is all about. The Rhinos taking on the Giants. The Giants will travel to Headingley in great spirits being in that semi-final. The Rhinos having two weeks off, of course. One Smith down. Will the second one go? That's the question on Friday night. You do feel if the Giants were to go to Headingley and turn on the style that Rowan Smith could be in a lot of trouble, just like his Uncle Tony. As for the Warriors, well, they will go back up against the Castleford Tigers. You can't really see much there going the way of the Tigers. Another route we predict here at Super League Raw. The Saints go up against Hull FC. And on Hull FC, let's just stop right there. Oh, yes, indeed. Richie Myler is going to be the director of rugby at Hull FC. That's what the rumours are. It's all over social media. It would appear that one of the financial backers might have a little bit of a say in this as to why Richie's getting the job. That just speculation. I'm saying nothing. But yeah, I mean, this is a real surprising one, isn't it? I mean, Adam Pearson was on BBC Humberside. It was great, great listening on Friday night. I listened intently. And to be fair, he spoke quite well. He spoke about the club's difficulties in terms of the finances. They're actually spending up to, I think it was 2.3 million on the cap. And I think he said the real question is about recruitment and why why haven't they spent it? Well, that's something that we'll be debating on Super League Raw Weekly tomorrow night, Tuesday live, 8 on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube. You don't want to miss that. A bit of weekly goes along long, long way to making your week a good one. That's right. We will be there on Tuesday night, 8 p.m. We will discuss that. We will discuss the mile of peace. But like I say, Pearson, you know, really was trying to, you know, just keep the whole FC fans on side, explain to them what's going on. Because Brown leaving the club, Hoy leaving the club, you know, and then out of left field comes this announcement about Richie Myler. What are you black and white fans making of this? Are you happy that Richie Myler is going to be potentially your director of rugby? It's almost a done deal is what we're hearing. If uh, rumours are to be true, we will be discussing that in great, great detail on Super League Raw Weekly. But one thing's for certain, well, let's see. I mean, Simon Griggs talk about, you know, taking charge of a team on the way to the Saints. The Saints now, of course, back to back defeats for the Saints, Catalan Dragons and the Warrington Wolves. That's got to be stinging the Saints, of course, uh, and Hull FC come to town. You do fear, don't you, for Hull FC? But, you know, stranger things have happened. How many times do you see, uh, you know, new coaches in situ and somehow they get a result? And there's no doubt about it. Saints will be stinging. And, of course, Alex Wormsley now, hamstring injury. He's going to be out. Percival expected to come back, of course. Curtis Simonon, will he be fit? So there's a lot of questions there uh, for St. Helens to answer going into that game. But you can't really see too much worrying them against Hull FC. Again, that will be, be debated in full on Super League Raw Weekly tomorrow night. The Wolves take on the Leopards at the Halliwell Jones Stadium. That should be interesting. The Leopards have been in pretty much every single game. Don't know why the Leopards have got a uh, Warrington badge next week. Apologies for that. But yeah, I mean, the Leopards have been in every single game, haven't they, this season? We've got to say that. Uh, so Warrington will know they're going to be in for a real challenge on Saturday. That could be a belter. The Broncos go up against the Red Devils. Now, nobody expected Casper to turn over the Red Devils. And for that reason, the Broncos will probably fancy a good dig at this one. It's going to be interesting to see what happens down there at Wimbledon. Uh, on Saturday. And then finally, the Dragons taking on the Robins. The Robins into the semi-final. The Dragons dumped out of the semi-finals, of course. Uh, that's going to be a really, really good game as well. I think there's some real mouth-watering ties there in round number eight. And like I say, you can join us tomorrow night, 8 p.m., for Super League Raw Weekly, where we will discuss each and every one of those games and everything that's going on around the uh, the rugby league community, especially what's going on at Hull FC. Don't miss it. It wouldn't be the same without a bit of weekly, would it? Absolutely not. Come on, get your tickets. 7.30pm tonight. It's the Super League Raw quiz. Nobody's doing anything like this in the community of rugby league, but we are here on Super League Raw. We want your company. We want you to be a part of it. Who is going to go away with the prize? It's a decent prize as well. Don't worry about that. You need to be with us. Get your tickets right now. If you're watching this and you haven't got your tickets, and make sure that you secure them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this news. That's right. On whatever platform you're on, share the love. Share Super League Raw. We're positive. We love this game of rugby league. We don't talk it down at Super League Raw. We talk it up. It's the greatest game on earth. And Super League Raw news has been well and truly back this Monday, the 15th of April. We'll be back with more news on Thursday. We're back with Weekly tomorrow. We're at the quiz tonight. Make sure you're with us. We'll be back on Thursday. Have a great Monday, everyone. Bye for now.